Hi, I'm Struan from Provenance Butcher. I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a chicken, marinate it with some pomegranate molasses and garlic, and get it ready for the barbecue. Okay, so this is one of the easiest things you can do at home to prepare a big piece of meat that looks like it can't go on the barbecue for really easy barbecue cooking. So I'm gonna take the backbone out, I'm gonna tidy up the wing tips and the leg ends, and then it is good for marinade and good to go. So, first things first, I'm gonna come straight down either side of the backbone. This is straight down one side. You can see it's already opened up. You can leave it on, but I think it's a bit neater to take it off both sides. Straight down, no need for that, although if you wanna keep it and make chicken stock, it's great for it. So once you get to that point, it's kind of starting to flatten out, but you're gonna to need to just break the keel down the back of it. So I'm gonna use a bigger knife for that. Now, you've gotta be careful, you put too much pressure on, you go straight through. Uh, you don't put enough on, you're not gonna break the keel, especially with these sharp knives. So, go gently. You get to that point, and that will open up. So this is essentially a spatchcock chicken. I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit so it presents better on the barbecue. I'm gonna come through these two joints here because you don't need that. Again, useful for stock. And then take these wing tips off here. Now there's kind of two schools of thought on whether you want to score this or not. And it depends, I guess, on what kind of barbecue you're cooking on. If you're just on an open flat top coal or grill, you don't have a lid, I suggest scoring it because you want to get heat into the middle quickly so you don't have to overcook the outside. But if you've got something you can close the lid on or work in a bit more ambient heat, have your hot coals on one side and your cold coals on another, which I kind of think is essential for good barbecuing technique, don't score it because you want to preserve as much moisture in the meat as possible. We're going to do it right today, so I'm not going to score it. I'm going to line it up here, get some of the pomegranate molasses on. So this will add loads of flavour and loads of colour to it as well, but also all the sugars in here are going to caramelise. So I'm going to put an initial glaze onto it, but then during cooking, keep the bowl there, keep the brush to hand, and you can build the glaze over time so you don't end up piling it on and losing it all early to the cook. You can build it as it caramelises and go over the top. I'll turn it over, get the underside as well. Now you want to do most of your cooking here with this side down because you've got this bone all protecting the meat. So you've got less direct heat going straight onto the skin and meat, which has a tendency to burn. So for as long as you can, medium to low heat on your barbecue, or if you can take it off a direct heat and let it cook with this side down, and then you're looking to finish off on this side, get the char on, get the skin crispy, and then you're good to go. I, de depending on the heat of your barbecue, it'll take anywhere between 35 and 55 minutes. Okay, we're on the roof, it's overcast, We've got a tiny barbecue, we're gonna cook some chicken. Uh, I think the easiest thing to do is to put this bone side down in the barbecue, lid closed, and then we'll check on it periodically, build the glaze as we do, turn it over at the end and get the color on the outside of it. So we've got the barbecue screaming hot for now, just to get as much ambient heat in there because you're gonna lose a bit when you open the lid. That's the sound you're looking for. Uh, I'll close it up, I'm gonna turn down a little bit and we'll see where we are in a few minutes it's really tempting to open the lid and constantly keep checking but if you're looking it's not cooking so this is going to come off there it is it looks pretty good not too burnt with all the Sugars from the pomegranate molasses on there. More salt, of course. I'm going to dive in and try a wing. Pretty good. 
So I hope you enjoyed the recipe for the spatchcock chicken. You feel like you've learned some knife skills and you feel confident enough to do them at home. What are you gonna marinate yours with? Let us know and I hope you enjoy.